Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Tiny11 22H2. Now this build is not actually the official Tiny11 from NT Dev. This is a fan-made build made by someone, I can't even remember their name. However, I'm sure we're going to see it. It's going to be in the description as well as probably in the distro everywhere. I really enjoy taking a look at Tiny Windows distributions because I find it interesting to see what kind of applications they've applied to customizations as well as like how well does this actually run like can this actually get windows 11 to run on more low-end hardware there's our guy's name right there harbor of tech um so one of the reasons that we're taking a look at this is because we've taken a look at a version of tiny 11 before however this specific is tiny 11 h2 so here's what we want to look at do we want to do 22 h2 or 22 h2 light so no defender some components removed i feel like this is going to get us closer to the actual tiny 11 or tiny 10 made by nt dev so i'm going to go ahead and select 22 h2 light and from there we're going to agree to the license terms and install so i'll be back once we once we have this os installed to our vm and first thing right out the bat it is taking us no out of box experience straight into a pre-made account um, which I'm not complaining about, although you never know what they've put in these, um, put in these things. So I'm going to go ahead and run yes for compression, and that just quit Windows Explorer. Great. So I guess we're going to wait for this compression to complete, and then we're going to install VMware Tools so we can actually take a look at this OS. All right, and here we are inside of Tiny11. 22h2 where we are going to finally install vmware tools the compression honestly did take a while i started this recording we got into the os at about three minutes and i'm now 13 minutes in the recording so it took about 10 minutes of unusable computer time to get this os compressed um, but before we install vmware tools we're using 55.0 out of 59.8 gigabytes so i mean it just went down because of vmware tools but i mean we're not doing that bad I mean, I would say we're doing okay for Windows uh, for Windows 11. So I'm going to go ahead and restart once again so I can get VMware tools up and running so we can experience this OS in full quality. And once this boots back up, we are actually going to take a look at the OS and see what got cut out, what's in it, and how this plays out. All right, and here we are inside of Windows 11, Tiny 11, that's what I meant. So just pre-installed on the desktop, we have Recycle Bin, a README, which cannot be opened there we go uh blah 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 make a review yep all that fun stuff okay cool so there is a tweaker that can get other tweaks but we're not even going to look at that right now youtube channel which cannot be opened because microsoft edge doesn't exist the harbor of tech toolkit which i'm sure is going to get flagged by a malware typical toolkits get flagged by malware um so yeah, there is a ton of stuff in here that you can do. I'm just going to go ahead and quit. Uh, and the link to the Discord server, but we can't go to it because Edge is disabled. Uh, by default, widgets are turned off. So is Task View. Um, but they are still present, unlike some other tiny di distros where those actually get removed completely from the OS. Uh, we do have our Focus Mode because, again, this is 22H2. We have our Standard Panel, Sound, Pre-Installed. We have... Windows stuff, VMware, and I'm not sure what this is. This is some sort of special pre-installed app with Tiny11 that I'm pretty sure talks about RAM usage, clean, clean when above, clean every. Okay, so it's like a memory cleaner, basically. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, in the start menu, oh, they didn't do a good job here. All of the bloatware is still pinned. Now, granted, it's not installed, but it's still pinned. Especially when it was a pre-made account, this should have all been removed. But going through the actual installed stuff, we have accessibility features, which some of these don't even work. The ones with grayed out icons don't work. Calendar, not calendar, calculator, camera, character map, Cortana, which doesn't work. File Explorer, get started, Microsoft Store, Notepad, Paint, which doesn't work. Photos, settings, snipping tool, which does not appear to work. Uh, terminal, that got installed by me, so I can get rid of that. Windows Security, which doesn't work because this is the image that didn't have it. Um, Windows Tools, Xbox, and Xbox Game Bar. I feel like Xbox shouldn't be installed um, on this, but that's okay. 
So I do believe that this is an older build because this did come out in August. So this is 22621.1 and Windows 11, Windows 11 official is 22621.5 something. So I mean it's not too off. It's on the same general build. Uh, which speaking of general build, is there a way that we can actually update this to the latest 22H2 version? So if we go in here, we can see it says the default name, Tiny11 Lite 22H2, and then the version, I'm assuming that's for them. Windows 11 Pro 10.9 2022. Oh, that's just, that was today, obviously. I forgot that that was today's date. Uh, if we go into Windows Update and I click Check for Updates, it looks like it's actually going to work. It looks like it's actually going to reach out to the Microsoft servers to check for updates. So it looks like it is actually installing updates it's downloading them and installing them which i'm actually shocked about because most tiny distros don't work with windows update so i'm glad to see one that does so overall this is like a really stripped down version of windows 11 which we expected but even just disabling the animations this feels so so fast i wouldn't say fluid because there's no animations but it just feels so fast we are running this on a 10700K with 8 gigs of RAM, granted, so it's not like low-end hardware. But it's running ridiculously fast. Um, I know I said I didn't want to take a look at the toolkit, but I'm going to take a look at it. Again, run as administrator, forgot to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, you can enable and disable Windows updates, but it's on because if they're off, it breaks the store. Okay, I got it. You can enable or disable the classic Windows 10 start menu. So I'm going to enable classic context, restart Windows Explorer, and that brings us back to the classic one. Okay, uh, fix high RAM usage, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. Oh, okay, you can just switch it back like that. So yeah, I mean, the toolkit actually does come with a decent amount of stuff built into it. I mean, better than some of the other ones that I've taken a look at. But yeah, I mean, it's a really stripped down version of Windows. I'm not really sure what else to talk about here. Um, I like it a lot. I would need to scan it with a virus scanner just to be sure that everything is like actually ready and all good to go, um, especially with that toolkit. But I mean, I trust it. I mean, it, it seems pretty legit um, and it seems smooth. Like, this is one of the only Tiny 11 distros, I mean, besides Tiny 10, which is NT Dev. This is one of the only Tiny OSs that I would actually trust um, just because it just feels so stripped down and so refined. It's, it's great. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.